Hello, everybody. It's Josh with Palasis Media again. And today, we're going to show you how to use Canva to create awesome thumbnails. <laughs> like the enthusiasm in my voice. So if you guys don't know what Canva is, it's uh, it's kind of a, it's like a mini Photoshop, but it's easier to use. It's not as detailed. Uh, it's free for the basic account, which you guys probably don't need anything more than the free account. Um, and yeah, it's just it's very nice. It looks great, simple to use, and I have fun with it. Uh, you can see Christine here. That's not me. That's my girlfriend, who's also my graphic designer for my company. Um, and we both use Canva enough that it was worth it to buy the premium account, so we did. So whatever. But like I said, it is free, so don't worry about that. So I'm just going to show you some basic stuff. Uh, well, I mean, I said I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails, so I'm going to do that. Uh, when you create a design, so don't worry about all this stuff. You're gonna come here, it's gonna be probably empty. It'll give you some suggestions. Come to create a design and literally you can choose any format you want. And this is why I love it so much. So obviously you guys know by now, no matter what you post or where you post it, there's gonna be um, dimension restraints. So if you do like a Facebook banner, or if you do an Instagram or not, well, yeah, I mean, even Instagram has its ideal dimensions. Everything has its dimensions, and it's annoying sometimes because certain websites will just say, nope, got to reformat it. So instead of having to go through all the trouble and then changing the pixels and just making it a crappier quality, you can actually come here and off the bat choose, you know, Twitter header, Facebook event cover, Facebook cover, Twitch banner. There's just so much. Facebook ad. Like, I use these a lot, which is nice. Facebook ad. There's a... You know, SoundCloud banner, Etsy shop. I actually have an Etsy shop as well. <laughs> Link in the bio. But <laughs> so anyways, you pick whatever you want, whatever your purpose is. Let's just go. Let's say that I clicked a, actually, there's a YouTube thumbnail somewhere here. Uh, I don't really need to show you, but like now I'm determined. YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnail. Boom, there it is. But I already have one set up. So let's go back up here. So you click YouTube thumbnail. It shows up and it's blank. And I'm just gonna, like you can see that these are my thumbnails that I've been using. <laughs> hey, but I'm gonna show you how to just make a random one. So let's just add new page. Um, this guy, he's too confused for this video. Let's, you can find photos off the internet and just drag them in, but and it's right here, by the way, just in case you're wondering, upload. There's me, there's her. Uh, where was I a second ago? Backgrounds, no, I was layouts. Uh, I like this. Living living in sh in shawarma? Living in the Sahara, right. Oh, look at that. It's perfectly formatted and sized. Uh, you know what? Let's just use this text. No, I lied. Let's not use this text because I'm going to try and show you from the from scratch. So you pick a photo, whatever you like, right? Mm, such a nice tiger. <laughs> tiger. Oh, my gosh. You can tell I've had a long day. Um, what are we going to make this ad for? I don't even... Ah, let's just replicate one of these to show you how I kind of make them. So first thing I'll do is this little kind of background here. I like to go into so elements. And again, you can see that there's so much stuff. Like, you can really just, I'm not even going to bother making a review on all this because there's so much. Also, you can, there's a lot of free stuff, obviously. But some of it, you do have to pay for certain images or certain uh, kind of layouts. And as far as I know, it's, it says one USD but it's one USD for like one time use, or you have like 24 hours to use it and you gotta pay for it again. So that kind of blows, but I mean, whatever. There's so much free stuff and you can get so many free copyright free images and whatnot on the internet. So anyways, let's go to shapes here. I always like to use the rounded edges because you know, your boy likes rounded edges. Uh, let's put it in the corner. Let's go like here, maybe like that. And then I gotta go transparency. Uh, I don't like it dark. Let's change the color. Do I like that? I don't like that. Gray. Whatever. Um, let's go uploads. Where is my... You know, let's say I'm making an ad for my... Holy! An ad for myself. <laughs> what? I don't know what just happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Uh, get out of here, all this information. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need to know this. Can't be, what is this saying? Cut out and transparent images can't be put in frames. Try using a photo instead. Um, no, I like this. Okay, let's see, what did I do here? How to set up, okay. So let's just, you know what? 
Mm, I'm just going to copy and paste, but I'll just go here. So you can go, you can choose from all these different, this is really cool, I like this. You can literally just drag and drop like a set, there we go, a set piece of text. And now you can use kind of like all these, oh, I don't know if you can hear my computer, it's like chugging right now for some reason. That that 13, not 13 year old, that 2013 MacBook Pro. Uh, so anyways, you can choose whatever you want. You can literally, there's so much customization options. It's actually crazy, but I don't want any of this. So I'm going to just delete, delete. And that's cool too. You can literally delete by section. So say like this, oh my, this section up here, right? Uh, I don't want that. So I delete element, delete element. Uh, you know what? I'll just keep it then, but let's make this guy. Ooh, I'm sure you can hear how many times I'm clicking. I don't know why it's being rough right now. Okay, <laughs> okay. Of course, I'm trying to make a video, and I think this text is non-existent. Let's just do this. Command Z for anyone that's wondering. All right, see. Let's make it simpler. Add heading. I don't know what's happening. All right, this probably isn't a great uh, promotional video for Canva, but you know what? Reload. But I'm I'm gonna blame my computer on this one. I think. Oh, good, it's saved. Okay. Um, want to make more money? Always a good ad. Uh, let's make it, or should we match, should we match the red? No. Well, I don't really like this font, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't match this, this kind of African vibe we got going on. Let's see. Ooh, this is cool. Probably won't look good here. Oh, well, maybe. Let's drag this guy down. Ah, oh, the placement isn't so good though. There we go. I want to make more money? I don't like this gray anymore. Let's make it black. And then let's just do this. Let's drag this guy. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, it's usually a little easier. Um, okay. Anyways, you kind of get the point, right? I want to make more money, and then let's say it's a ClickFunnels ad. I think I have, is it this guy? Is it this guy? I think it's this guy. There it is, my little ClickFunnels PNG that I got online. Uh, also, if you're ClickFunnels affiliate, don't worry about any kind of copyright stuff. Like, you are representing them, and they give you permission to represent them, so you can pretty much just use any of their stuff. ClickFunnels. Oh, she was an accident. I want to make more money. Okay, and then let's finish this guy off with illustrations. Hmm, there's a few I remember seeing that I really liked. Ooh, I like this guy. Maybe it's too many colors. Maybe it's not. Who knows? That's why you gotta just test ads. See if they work. You can let her copy it. I can flip it if I want, but I'm not going to actually. Uh, you know what? You know what? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Make him a little longer. Do that. Do that. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Look how nice. Oh, it's a little too close. Uh, good enough. Anyways, <laughs> you, you guys kind of get the point. You're hearing me struggle. I've, honestly, sometimes I forget that I'm recording. I'm just started doing this. You kind of get the point. This is probably too much stuff on the screen. Maybe like take that out. Yeah, because we don't need we don't need me. Let's be honest. I'm not important here. Click funnels in his face. There, perfect, perfect. And then once you're done, literally press download. I have a bunch of pages here, so I think this is like page five. So you would just press, you know, page five. You can choose what type of download. Download it right to your desktop, right to wherever you 
set it in your settings. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Just so you, you know, layouts. These are pretty much all like the backgrounds. You can get some special ones that are already kind of pre-made. They pretty much already look like ads because they are meant to be ads, which is pretty cool. Elements, like I said, there's just so much text. There's so much background. That's not as nice, but there's so much. And then again, you can upload your own stuff. So I just want to give you guys a little tutorial here, just how to use Canva, how I use it to make, you know, some of my little ads or some of my thumbnails or both, uh, my banners, all that kind of stuff. So I hope that helped. Hope that gave you guys a little bit of confidence um, making some of these ads. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.